went and sang my little heart out, you know. Um, nervous as hell in this gig, and there were two, three guys from Sony there. One was a guy called Lincoln Elias, and another guy called Muff Winwood, Stevie Winwood's brother, and who, who ran Sony then, who's just just retired lately. And uh, and and everybody whispered to me, "Oh, uh, yeah, you know, it must be big because uh, Muff Winwood never comes out of his office for anybody." So I thought, okay, this is all good. This is great. This is going well. Uh, and then, but Sony went then cold on me. But the publishing thing kept going on. And EMI started to sniff around, and we went over to EMI to try and further ourselves, and we went uh, to a guy called Guy Moot. And I walked upstairs with the, when you're going to learn, and the lyrics and everything, and his secretary came, we sat in the lobby like you do when you're trying to get a deal for hours, you know. And uh, we sat there, and, uh, and then the secretary came down, and she goes, she, he said, it's very good, and the lyrics made him nearly cry, uh, come back on Monday. So we were like, okay, you know, I thought, well, I don't want to get mucked around here, you don't want to get in there, get stuck in. Anyway, so I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll go back on Monday it, with an image, if you like. I thought, I'll go back as, you know, this is the package that you get. Here's the logo, here's the thing. This is what it's all about. So then he got interested. Then there was a load of kerfuffling. And then I remember for five or six months, there was the constant gnawing of the fingernails. Are we going to get this deal or not? And of course, and we then had this, you know, whole legal problem because we couldn't afford the legal fees. So it was a question of, right, if we strike it, lucky, you know, the legal fees will, you know, you'll, um, you know, you'll, you'll do it for free now, and we'll pay you later. Anyway, one day, bang, there you go. They decided to rewrite the contract, and now it's a major label contract, contract, not an independent label contract. I.e., the words acid jazz as an independent thing had to be inserted into the contract because it had never been done before. And bang, there you go, so they were on, five albums. Of course, as soon as they'd come on, then Sony wanted to come on, and then Sony came in with the eight-album deal. <laughs>